Hello, I'm Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author, and I'm reading Robo Horse, and we're up to chapter seven. A couple of days later, I was just getting some stamps in the post office when I saw an advert on the notice board. Wanted, two people to help at local scrapyard. One bookkeeper must be good with figures and honest. One general labourer must be strong and not scared of hard work and must be trustworthy. Good wages paid, phone or call in at Tallow's scrapyard and ask for Billy Tallow. I was both shocked and delighted. Shocked because Billy had decided to stick with the scrapyard and take on staff. And delighted because he finally would have some help and best of all, some company at the yard. I decided to pop round there on my way back home. Billy looked, I don't know, fresher somehow. He had the twinkle back in his eyes and he'd even cleaned up the front of the yard a bit. When I told him I'd just seen the advert in the post office, he laughed and said, Are you sure you're not after a job? I laughed as well and said, I'm glad for you, that's all. I told him I had to be going and as I turned to walk out of the yard, he shouted after me, still laughing, Don't think it was your idea. I was really pleased because Billy had been a friend of mine for many years and I'd been worrying about him lately. But now it looked as though he was doing something positive, more like his old self. It was only when I got home and that I wondered if anyone would apply for the jobs. I knew there was a lot of unemployment around, but working in a scrapyard wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea. I thought about offering to help Billy with the interviews, but then I realized I'd be away in a couple of days for my two weeks summer holiday.